This is my project, IoT House, which is also known as the Internet of Things. It has many sensors, which is controlled by one robot, Quarky. Now, the first sensor that we have here is the automatic door. It is going to be controlled by the motion sensor, IR sensor, and the RFID sensor. The motion sensor can detect people or things by heat, while the IR sensor detects it by light. The RFID sensor is the thing we see on ho in hotel. You keep a card in front of it and the door will open. Now this automation of the door, which means the moving of the door, is controlled by the servo motor. Up next we have a smart plug, which has also a relay sensor. Now this smart plug can help us in controlling the house more efficiently. Then our next uh, sensor is the soil moisture sensor and with some tube connection and some more essential things in order for the house not to be damaged, the Quarky can tell us what things the soil need, how much moisture does the soil have. This is the robot Quarky which is also connected to an expansion board and the expansion board helps us in connecting to different sensors which uh, when the wires are too short. Over here we have a fan and consists of two things, a propeller and a DC motor. The DC motor helps in rotating the fan and a propeller just rotates. Then temperature and humidity sensor helps us in detecting temperature and humidity. Like what is the temperature outside and how much humidity is in the air. And the gas sensor can detect the gas. Now we have our last two sensor which is our light sensor which tells us how bright or how dim it is. And flame sensor tells us if there is flame or fire in the house. So now one example of this IoT house is that when a flame sensor detects any heat, smoke or flame, the fan will start to move automatically in order to extinguish the fire. Uh, so the house cannot be damaged. And this is the end. Thank you so much.